Hey guys, it's Anthony Bandio here with Blue to Gold Law Enforcement Training, and I'm outside of Cleveland, Ohio. And today's question is, may officers run a drug dog in apartment or motel hallways? And the answer is yes and no. Officers can run a drug canine in a motel or hotel hallway, but they cannot run the same dog in an apartment hallway Usually, these are the most, these are the, this is the, the best approach here. And let me explain to you why. Now, first of all, when we are talking about areas outside of the front door, you know, or around a home, um, motel, apartment, and so forth, those areas are classified under one of three categories. First, curtilage. Curtilage is protected like the home itself, and these are areas intimately associated with domestic life you know, playing with the kids, barbecues, you know, hanging out on, on lawn chairs and so forth. And then the second area are areas where there's a reasonable expectation of privacy. And then finally is open fields. So curtilage, reasonable expectation of privacy, and open fields. Now let's go, let's start with motels. Motels don't have curtilage. You know, most motels do not have curtilage. Um, curtilage is, is, is more associated with non-traditional home, uh, like a tent. But there are areas where the person, the occupants, have an exclusive right of control over it. If you think about most motels, they cannot exclude anybody from, from the hallways. This is why, or that is why, it is not curtilage. Let's go on to reasonable expectation of privacy. Hallways in a motel also are not protected under a reasonable expectation of privacy test. The main reason is that society does not think it's reasonable for the for a motel a, a motel occupant to have such a high expectation of privacy that it would be unreasonable for uh, officers, public, and canines to be in those hallways. It's just not that type of environment. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Motels are certainly like a home inside the motel room um, when the person is lawfully occupying it, but there's real world consequences and limitations. You know, for example, people can be immediately evicted if they violate a, a, a rule like smoking and fighting and partying and breaking stuff. You know, that's not true with a home. And it's, it's a commercial establishment. So really, hallways are the third category, open fields. Let's move on to apartments. Apartment hallways are not curtilage. Generally speaking, there is no right of exclusive control, you know, and occupancy over that hallway. Other people can access it. They can invite the public. So it's not curtilage. You know, there may be an area in an apartment that is exclusive to one uh, resident but generally speaking, hallways are not. But they are often considered areas where a person has a reasonable expectation of privacy. The reason is, is that most courts find that the apartment dweller, this is, a, this is a traditional home, right, clearly, and they want to uphold a higher level of privacy in these areas. In some ways, I think courts feel it's unfair for the traditional home with the white picket fence and the cops can't bring the drug sniffing dog onto that property into the front door. Why should the apartment dwell dweller have a less expectation of privacy? Well, they do because again, hallways are not exclusive. They're not like the front door with the white picket fence. But this is a this is a proper balance. So at least the um, it's not the fact that the officers are there, but the bringing the drug dog tips the scales where it's the, the courts find it intrusive. So that's your answer. And so that would not be an area, it would not be considered an open field. I hope this helps. Um, it's actually a very, you know, kind of a complicated uh, legal issue, but it's a great question. And, I, and, I, and I'm hoping I answered it for you. So those are your answers. Run the drug dog in the motel hallway. You know, the, the court case, there are court cases on this that support that. If you want that court case, email me. I also have a court case that says that running the drug dog in an apartment hallway is not permitted under reasonable station of privacy. If you want that court case, email me, 
get a hold of me through bluetogold.com. Go to contact us and use the, the web form and just ask me for the case or email me directly at anthony at bluetogold.com. Until next time, stay safe. When it comes to legal training, we're the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 today to purchase the Search and Seizure Survival Guide, register for a class, or learn how to bring our search and seizure training to your agency.